Fill it with regular, please. Yeah. No, I'm good. Thanks a lot. My last video, I, I told you guys how I've moved up to Oregon. I'm in an apartment now and I'm no longer full time on the road. And sadly, quite a few of my subscribers actually unsubscribed. Aww. I knew that some would, but honestly, it was more than I expected, which kind of sucks. But at the same time, I get it. I understand a lot of people were here for full time road content. But for those of you who are choosing to stick around, I don't want you to think that the content of my channel is really gonna change that much. Like I'm still gonna be camping, hiking, fishing, backpacking, doing all things outdoors that I normally would do while being on the road. The only thing that's changing is I have a home base now. So for those of you who have stuck around, thank you, I really appreciate it. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Now let's get on to this video. Today I'm headed up back up to Mount Hood. It is snowy up there right now. I was just there a couple days ago filming a video that you guys will be seeing next week. But I decided to go back up because yeah, there's a ton of snow, it's super pretty, and I think that it'll be fun to do some camping up there. So without further ado, let's get going. As you can see, it's raining pretty hard once again, and we're at the base of the mountain, so hopefully that means that up in the higher elevations, it's gonna be snowing quite a bit. You guys might have seen my video a couple weeks ago where I go deep into the forest and camp in the truck camper. During that video, I go hiking down to a lake, or it's, it's not really a hike, but I walk down the road to get to the lake. And I'm at that same spot again, two weeks later, a little over two weeks later, but I just wanted to show you guys the difference and how snowy it got literally in two weeks, which is insane because it looks like a complete new spot. I'm probably not gonna hike all the way down to the lake, but we'll go down the trail a little bit just so you could check it out because it looks really good right now. just the short two weeks that it's been. Sorry, snow is just flying directly into my eyeballs, so that's why I'm squinting. But yeah, this place really turned into a winter wonderland in a short, short couple of weeks.
So I just stumbled upon this little gem of a hike, literally right on the side of the road. <laughs> it's really early in the day, so I'm just trying to kill some time. I can't really go find my camping spot just yet, settle in for the night. So we're just moving around, getting outside, enjoying this beautiful snowy wonderland. I'm not gonna go too far because I don't know exactly what this trail is called or where it goes. And so obviously, in winter when there's snow on the ground you don't want to hike too far out when you when you're unfamiliar with the territory because that's when things go bad but this is beautiful so happy that this is basically in my backyard now I think I'm just gonna head back now. It's really pretty out here, but it's starting to get a little bit later, so I'm gonna head back to the truck and work on finding a camp spot. Honestly, I was up here the other day and I saw people doing that, doing donuts in their cars. And not gonna lie, I was I was hating. I was thinking in my head like, Psh, how immature. But it's fun, it's fun, you can't deny it. <laughs> I've got some bad news to share with you guys. Some pretty, pretty bad news, so brace yourselves. The other day, I discovered some water damage. I don't know exactly the severity of this because I'm no expert, but to me, this looks like, this looks like pretty bad water damage. And uh, not only is there bad water damage, but that means that there's lots of leaks on the outside, lots of new leaks. Even though I resealed the hell out of the camper, it looks like the Pacific Northwest rains are just like relentlessly getting through somehow. And I didn't even notice over here, but over here, it looks like there's a lot of water seeping through as well. The wood is starting to feel very, uh, very unstable, insecure. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. This leaves me in a sticky, predicament because I'm living up here in Oregon now and it's just gonna keep raining. So this is gonna take a lot of work. I'm gonna have to completely take out all this wood. I guarantee that there's a lot of like wood rot under here. So the integrity of the, the structure of the camper is definitely going out if it's not already on the way out. And so if I wanna repair it, that's gonna be a big, big job. So if any of you guys have any suggestions on what I should do and uh, it, how I should repair it, if I should repair it. Just general advice on what I should do in the situation. Feel free to leave comments down below. I would really appreciate any kind of guidance on this because I'm no expert and to me it looks bad, but I don't know. So as you can see, this whole area is really bad. This is the worst spot right here. There's even some mold growing already. 
Uh, I don't know exactly where it's leaking from on the outside because I resealed it, but clearly, clearly it's starting to leak again. This is actually kind of new. That wasn't here last time I saw it. So it's seeping out from under there as well. All along the wall here, it's seeping out. The wall itself, you can't really tell, but it's very, uh, just feels, it doesn't feel solid. So that's probably some pretty bad water damage in there. But this by far is the worst. It even like cracked the paint, which this scares me. On a more positive note, I have a really good dinner planned for tonight and I'm excited for it. Let's just get started with that. It is quite early to start cooking dinner. It's only four o'clock, but the recipe that I'm making requires uh, some marinating. So let's just start the marinade and we could let that marinade for the time being until it's time to cook. What I'm gonna be making is some garlic butter noodles with marinated steak bites on top of the noodles. I've never had it. It looks really, really good and super easy to make as well. So kind of a win-win. Oh my gosh, my olive oil is like frozen solid. Oh no. All right, we'll, we'll make it work. So in the marinade, we're just gonna put some soy sauce. We're also gonna put some sriracha. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that was cool. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I opened the bottle and the pressure of, I guess, the elevation or something like that. It just started squirting all the sriracha into the, into the bowl, so I don't even need to do anything. Cracked pepper. Forgot the uh, the lemon, so we're not gonna have lemon with it. But I think it'll be all right. So hopefully this works to melt the olive oil. I need to get some olive oil out of here. But I don't want to melt the bottle. Oh, there we go. Looks like it's coming out. Come on. There we go. There we go. So let's get the steak cut up. I'm using a top top sirloin steak, uh, aged 14 days. Looks like a good steak. And we're just gonna cut this up actually. We're not gonna cook it as a whole steak. I'm gonna pat it dry actually. Some of you guys in one of my last videos commented on how I was cutting the chicken on the plate and then I was eating on the plate afterwards. I actually have multiple of these plates right here. They're like 50 cents at Target. So I got I got like three or four of them for the camper. So don't worry, I don't, I don't eat on the same plate that I have raw meat on. like small, small chunks of meat with the noodles. So that is what we're doing. Pretty small chunks. And we'll just let that sit and marinate while we hang out. There's a little cabin over there and there's smoke coming out of the chimney. Interesting, that means someone's in there. But there's no cars around here. Oh, I'm sorry, cheers. Tessa. Tessa, Tessa. My girlfriend really 
changed my perspective on this because I used to never really use my heater, even when it was cold and snowy like this. Occasionally I would, but for the most part, I'd never even think about it. But after camping out with, with Tessa a couple of times in here and her wanting this on at all times, now, now I kind of tend to turn it on a lot. If you have it, you might as well use it, right? Good old reliable. Oh my gosh, what the heck? <laughs> That's never happened to me before. The whole head of garlic just exploded. So we're gonna drain off most of the water like you would normally with pasta, but we're actually gonna keep a little bit of that water because we're gonna use it for our noodles. Let's hit it with the butter. And we're also gonna use about half, about half of the garlic that we chopped up. Let's go ahead and give that a nice, nice stir. All right. Steak is probably pretty well done by this point. Let's just take the steak out and set it aside for a second here. I'm gonna add some butter to that. We're gonna add the rest of the garlic and we're gonna add some chili flakes for a little heat. Now we're gonna ha add a little bit of that beef broth. Deglaze the pan a little bit. Oh boy, that is smelling mighty, mighty good. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our noodles. Now here we're gonna take some of that, some of that pasta water and just add a little bit. Probably gonna do a little bit more butter too. This is not a healthy dish obviously so don't feel bad about tossing the butter in there. Just work that all around. To the garlicky, delicious, buttery noodles, we're just gonna add the steak right back in there. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. And it looks so unhealthy, but I don't care because this is about to be Amazing. Oh, God. Now, I don't know how appetizing this looks on camera, but I'm telling you, this smells divine. Well, guys, this is definitely not a dish that you want to tell your doctor about, but not going to lie, I'm really excited. This looks... This looks so good. The sad thing is I just realized that I had some vegetables in my fridge that would have been perfect with this dish. I have zucchini and mushrooms. I guess we're just going carbs and protein today. <laughs> no vegetables. I don't have words. Oh, that is so good. Oh my gosh. Woo! as insanely delicious as that was i'm pretty sure that if you eat it more than once maybe maybe twice a year you're probably seriously decreasing the longevity of your lifespan because that was that was a gnarly meal guys oh man like i said don't 
don't let your doctor know about that one if you decide to make it because that was that was just buttery cholesterol filled goodness and it was delicious watching movies for the last quite some time now so I think it's time I think it's time for bed good night Well, heater's not working. I give up. It was cold last night. It was really cold. I don't I don't have like a thermometer in here or anything, but I would guess it was between it was between 10 to 20 degrees, so not unbearable, but it was nippy, that's for sure. And then my heater's not working this morning. So my coffee's all I got to warm me up. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys, like always, for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. You guys go out there and go on some adventures of your own. Live life. Beat the status quo. Y'all know the drill. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.